So speaking of Diablo 4, let's look at this. Diablo 4 game director, Blizzard lead level designer, and WoW designer all have been let go from Blizzard Entertainment. We have several more high-profile Blizzard Entertainment departures this week with Diablo 4 game director, Louis Bariga, uh, Blizzard lead game designer, Jesse McCree, and World of Warcraft designer, Jonathan, Jonathan LaCraft, let go from the company. This news was first broken by Kotaku, who wrote the following. Uh, Diablo 4 game director, uh, or let go from Blizzard, two sources from knowledge. Uh, spokesperson for Activision Blizzard uh, confirmed the departures in an email. We can confirm that Louis Bariga, Jesse, uh, McCree, and Jonathan are no longer with the company. Um, that's crazy. Uh, two sources confirmed uh, to Kotaku that Stockton was put on leave last week and appears to remain with the uh, with the company. Another employee in the photos, Corey Stockton, remains at the company but has been recently put on leave. So what does this mean for Diablo 4? Here's, here's one thing I want to say. That I hope they don't change McCree's name in Overwatch. Like, that, in my opinion, would just be stupid. Like, I, I don't want to see them change McCree's name. Like, it, it's one thing, like, at first... I, like, McCree is, like, an existing character with, like, a narrative around it. Like, the Alex Afrasiabi, like, fucking NPCs have no... Th there's no, like, nuance around them. It's just, like, a character with his name. So, if you do that, I just think that it's weird, and it's like you're trying to, like, hide it, and you're, like, retconning things in order to, like, not look like this is what happened. Uh, it's the same thing as everything else. 100% they name change them. What do you guys think? Do you guys think they're going to name change him or not? Uh, too late. LMAL casters were already using, uh, avoiding saying his name completely. I just think it's, I think it's stupid. Like, that's the kind of stuff where it's like, uh, the guy's name is like, yeah, he was originally named after this guy that was an asshole. And that's not really, uh, what he is. Like the characters is now evolved from that. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. Like that's, that's the way I see it. Yeah. I think it's just like, that's the kind of stuff. It feels like performative and it's not really, uh, it doesn't really do anybody any favors at all. Uh, in my opinion, uh, who cares? Yeah. I don't think it really matters that much to me. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I, d I don't really care about a whole lot, but regardless, yeah, I did hear about like some of the overwatch casters, like trying to like not say McCree's name, which is just like, it's just so like trying to not say his name. Like it sounds like middle school, man. Like it's like, oh, we can't say his name. Like, what happens? Do you say his name three times and he comes back? Like, what is this, fucking Voldemort or Beetlejuice? Like, what is this? Like, stop. Stop being weird. It's just crazy. He who must not be named. Yeah, exactly. So what does this mean for Diablo 4? What does it mean? Uh, I don't think it really means much of anything, to be honest with you. I, re I really don't. Uh, I think that it's the same thing as, like, in WoW. Like, I'll give you an example. Many of you guys have probably had, like, a raid leader leave or a uh, important person in your guild leave. And then the guild might have felt a little bit different, but it didn't really change course. And changing or losing one person, even if they're in a very important role, uh, usually, uh, doesn't necessarily change the course or change the outcome of a project or, or any sort of a team. And I don't think that this necessarily spells disaster for Diablo 4. And of course, like... What you're assuming is that the person that replaces him is going to be worse. Like, that's the assumption, but that could actually just not be true. He could be fucking it up, and they could bring somebody in who does a better job, and the game would have been better than it ever would have been if he was in charge with it. So, I don't really think this means a whole lot. Uh, guild sign whenever the guild leader leaves? I don't know. We've had... Not my guild, man. Like, we've had so many guild leaders leave and shit like that. Yeah, exactly. Yoshi P. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There are times that people turn it around. Uh, you're, you're totally right, but I don't think that it's necessarily uh, what's going to happen. Uh, Diablo 4 was looking pretty good. I think that it was looking okay. Yeah, like the art was looking good, etc. But like, you know what we didn't really see? We didn't really see item progression. We didn't really see gameplay. And like, yeah, wow, the NPCs look awesome. And I agree with you. They certainly did. But who gives a shit about what the NPCs look like if the game's bad? So I'm waiting to see a lot more of that, and then whenever that comes out, then I'll have a much more defined opinion about where I think things are going to go from there. Uh, that's what I think. And also, I want to say again, the person that replaces him could be better. Like, it, it, they could definitely be better than, than him. And I don't think that it's impossible for that to be the case. Uh, there's been a lot of people, obviously, that are uh, sure. It, it's possible, right? I mean, like, I don't know. It, it, it's definitely possible. And, and listen, like, here's the way I look at it, right? So this guy, let, let's use a little bit of logic here, okay? I'm, I know I'm getting caps here, but listen to this. This guy is the lead director because he's been at the company for a long time. Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, was fucking garbage. 
It was absolute fucking garbage. So, I'm not really going to have a whole lot of fucking uh, hope and excitement about I disagree. I absolutely think that it sucked. I think that Vanilla Diablo 3 was infinitely better because it had way more interesting progression. It had way more scope of the items that you could get. The, things were tradable and you were able the game had way more replayability i'll say this vanilla d3 had way more replayability than reaper of souls did reaper of souls was dead in like a month man because you couldn't trade anything you couldn't really advance your character you were just stuck basically playing a slot machine over and over and over that you really had no control over repeating the exact same in-game content that had no content whatsoever wrong take you guys liked diablo 3 reaper of souls more than uh you guys thought Reaper of Souls is better than Diablo 3? Yeah. I, I, I really don't think so, man. I think that the, the base Diablo 3 for its time was way better. I think that Reaper of Souls came in with so many bad systems and so many things that were just so boring that, like, they're the just farming greater rifts. Like, this was the... This was the end game. Better Diablo... Yeah, I'm actually curious. A lot of you guys think Reaper of Souls was way better. Dude, that's so crazy. For me, I had so much fun playing like original v vanilla D3. And the moment that they took trading out of the game and I felt like all I had to do to advance my character was play a slot machine, I just quit. I was like, this is fucking boring. Like, I don't want to do this. Like, that's the way I felt about it. Yeah, there was no progress for me at all. Uh, the Paragon levels were just uncapped and people were botting constantly to just get more and more of them. Can't get carried, yikes. I'm sorry to tell you, man, but this was back in the day whenever I had to earn it myself. I was Paragon 100 in Diablo uh, Vanilla, okay? Like, I played that game a lot. LOL 100. These kids just don't get it, do they? These kids just don't get it, man. That's crazy. You farmed Act 3 a lot? No, I farmed actually Act 1 a lot. It's okay. You guys are being real cute. Yeah, I was Paragon 100. It was a big deal back then. I, I know, obviously, you get Paragon 100 now by uh, logging in. But uh, back in my day, well, back in my day, Paragon 100 used to mean something. Back in my day, you saw somebody with Paragon 100, you knew whenever they joined your group, they were going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, I'll tell you something. That's the way it used to be. All right, so yeah, either way, I think that this is uh, does, ne does not necessarily spell disaster for Diablo 4. Uh, it spells concern, though. Uh, I would absolutely say that. Uh, D3 Paragon only came in in Reaper of Souls. Oh, no. Oh, no. D3 Paragon was added, I think, in the same patch that they added Monster Level. Uh, and D3 Paragon, uh, the pre-patch allowed the Paragon levels for your characters to be account-wide. Oh, man. You guys didn't spend all day watching Kriparian. I can tell. It's, uh, it's disappointing. What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmongold. You know, people have been asking me, when are you going to make a Diablo video? And, you know, I figure, how about right now? There it is. This is my main character. Uh, Wizard, Paragon 100. Not to brag. And, uh, anyway, I'll show you guys my other characters. Uh, I have a Barbarian. It's my first character I made. And, uh, this is my... Demon Hunter, I made him two days after the expansion, after I learned that this character was garbage. And I made this Demon Hunter, cleared Inferno, about uh, like the first month of the game coming out. Not bad, cleared it pre-nerf, so feel pretty good about that. Uh, Witch Doctor, he doesn't have any gear because all the gear uh, is on the wizard. And I also have some other terrible characters, and I have a Barbarian on Hardcore that I've actually cleared Hardcore uh, Inferno on was not really that hard. 